Hey everybody, it's Johnny. Welcome to the video. I have a question for you. Do you have a PS4 and do you have a Mac? Do you want to stream to Twitch or YouTube or Mixer or anybody else? Stick around. In today's video, I'll show you all the tools you need to get that done. I've put links to all the software down in the description below, so make sure you go and check it out. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and slap a like on the video. Let's take a look at the software. There are three key components that you need to be able to broadcast your gameplay to the world. The first is a way to play your games on your Mac. So for that, we head on over to Sony and grab the PS4 Remote Play app. The second thing you need is a way to broadcast your audio. Now, you'll be able to hear your game just fine through your speakers or your headphones, but your viewers won't. So to remedy that, we get a piece of software called I Show You. Previously, you would use something called Soundflower. Unfortunately, though, that's been deprecated and is no longer available, or rather, no longer supported. So let's on, head on over to Shiny White Box and grab the I Show You audio capture drivers. Later in the video, we'll talk about why you need this stuff and how to set it up. But for right now, we're just downloading. The final thing you're going to need is a way to broadcast your gameplay to the world. And for that, we're going to get some broadcasting software called OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software. This software allows you to capture your gameplay, capture the audio for your gameplay, maybe put in some background music, put in some neat overlays, all kinds of fun stuff. But most importantly, it allows you to broadcast your gameplay to the world via Twitch or YouTube or whatever streaming platform you'd like. The best thing about all this software is that it's free. Now that we've downloaded everything, let's get it installed. So the first one we're going to install is the PS4 Remote Play app. And it's about as simple as it gets. Go to wherever you've downloaded it, double-click the package installer, and just follow the prompts. You'll go through, put in your password, and then click the Install Software button to complete the installation. After that's done, we'll just move the installer package to the trash. Next, we're going to install the iShowU audio capture drivers. It's going to be very similar to the PS4 install. Just go to wherever you downloaded it, open it up, and when it comes up, just double click the package installer. This will run through a series of prompts very similar to the PS4 Remote Play app. Follow along, enter your password, and click install software. And the installation will continue. As it moves along towards the end of the installation, you're going to see probably a confirmation box pop up. And this will happen if you are on High Sierra or Mojave. And the reason is because the iShowU audio capture drivers are trying to install a system extension. Since I installed the drivers prior to making this video, I don't have a live shot of that confirmation popping up. However, I do have a screenshot that I will share in just a few seconds. And like we did before with the Remote Play app, we're just going to move the installer to the trash when it's done. And here's that screenshot. Just click the OK button to let the installation continue. The next thing we have to do is to go to our system preferences and then over to security and privacy to allow that extension to load. Like before, I've already done this so you don't see it live, however I do have a screenshot. Just go ahead and click that allow button and this will complete the installation of the iShowU audio capture drivers. The final piece of software we're going to install is OBS. Just like we did before, go to wherever you downloaded it, open up the package installer and follow the prompts. Click on continue, click on install and enter your password, and then finally click on install software. Once OBS has completed installation, we're going to move the installer to the trash, just like we did with the other two. To capture the in-game audio, you need to create a new audio device. So open up Spotlight, type in audio, and you'll see audio MIDI setup. Double click that and you get a window that opens showing you the audio devices on your system. You'll need to add something called a multi-output device. To create it, just click the little plus button in the bottom left and choose create multi-output device. On the right hand side of the screen, you're going to see two choices, built-in output and I show you audio capture. 
because I had already created a multi output device before recording the video, I also had that choice there. So this is what you want to end up with. Built-in output and I show you audio capture. To verify everything, go into system preferences and then go into sound. When this opens up, you'll see your output should have multi-output device as an aggregate device. And then when you click on your inputs, you should see the I show you audio capture that you installed earlier. Before we can play any games using the Remote Play app, we have to set things up on the PS4. The first thing we're going to do is activate this device. So we go into Settings, and then we go into Account Management, and we click on the Activate as your primary PS4. You'll get two choices, either to activate or deactivate. Since mine's already activated, the only choice I have is to deactivate. But you just go ahead and click Activate. Now that you've activated your PS4, Hit the circle button a couple of times and head on back out to the settings menu. Once you get back to the settings menu, scroll down until you get to the remote play connection settings. Hit the X button to go into the remote play connection settings and then hit the X button again to enable remote play. Once you've completed that, hit the circle button to get on back out to your settings menu and scroll down until you get to the power save settings menu. Hit your X button to enter, and once you're inside, you're going to set up the features available in rest mode. So scroll down, hit the X button, and the two choices you need to pick are stay connected to the internet, so you hit your X button, and enable turning on PS4 from network. Again, you hit the X button to enable it. Now that you're done setting everything up on your PS4, head back to your Mac and launch the PS4 Remote Play app. Open up Preferences and you're going to see choices for resolution and frame rate. Pick whatever works best for you. Unless you've got a PS4 Pro, 720p is the highest you can go. For frame rate, choose either standard or high. High is 60 frames per second and standard is 30. I chose high. After you've done that, you're going to have to sign into the PlayStation Network. You'll use your username and password that you sign into PSN with. I blanked my credentials out for the video. Once you click sign in, you have to go through the recapture verification, click on the images that match, and once you're done that, you click on verify. This will sign you into the network. After you've signed in, you'll see your username up top in the preferences. You're done here, so go ahead and close it out. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and connect your PlayStation controller to your Mac using a USB cable. After it's connected, go ahead and click the start button and the PS4 Remote Play app will look for your PlayStation. You can choose to register it manually if you'd like. To do that, all you have to do is enter the code that is on your PlayStation on your television. However, if you don't want to enter it manually, the application will go ahead and try to search for your PlayStation on the internet. It'll look for the credentials you entered and see if there are any devices registered and if they're turned on. As it's searching for your PlayStation, it'll take a few minutes. The first time that you launch the app, It'll look on the internet to see if you can find your PlayStation. However, every time after that, it'll always look in your local network first. Once it's found it, it will register the device and then connect to it. When it's finally connected, it'll open up the window and you'll see your PlayStation 4's home screen. At this point, Remote Play setup is complete and you can play any game you want remotely by using your Mac. The last thing we're going to cover here is this basic setup of OBS. Go ahead and launch OBS for the first time and you'll get the license agreement and click OK to continue on. OBS asks you if you want to use the auto configuration tool. Go ahead and do it if you'd like. It'll run a few basic tests in the background to determine your CPU speed, determine your bitrate, things like that. Next OBS is going to ask if it can use your microphone. Absolutely click OK for this one, so you can capture and broadcast your audio commentary. As you can see on the screen, my mic is picking up the audio. I'll go ahead and mute my mic so it doesn't pick up any extra audio in the background. You can see the gain goes down to zero. Now that we're capturing our commentary, we have to be able to capture our video game as well. To do that, we add a source to our scene. We'll pick Display Capture here. We'll go into the reasons for that in part 2 of this tutorial video. 
You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it PS4. This opens up a window where you can choose whatever display you want. If you're using your laptop or your iMac, you're only going to have display zero. For crop, we're going to choose two window and manual. And in the window, we're going to pick our PlayStation 4 remote play app window. Move your cursor up to the corner where their little red dot is and use it to drag the window around, resize it, and crop it as necessary so that it fills up the entire canvas in the preview window. Now that your game window has been cropped to the canvas, we have to add the in-game audio. To do that, we add another source and we choose Audio Input Capture. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to choose Game Audio, and you click OK. After you've clicked OK, the new window pops up, and for device, you're going to choose the I Show You Audio Capture device that you installed earlier. Click the OK button, and you can now see that OBS is picking up your in-game audio. On the side here are what are called scenes, and scenes are a collection of sources, and sources can be anything. They can be images, they can be text. It can be your webcam. Okay. Your settings now are where you really want to focus originally. So if we click on it, you get a whole bunch of stuff over here. And here is where you'd set up. You know, if you want to stream to Twitch or to YouTube. Next one we're going to look at is video. And this one's the important one. All right, so that leaves us only one choice and that's going to be display capture. So now that we've decided what our source is going to be, we have to do some cropping. So you click and drag as necessary, depending on you know to how much you want to show and where you want to show. We have to add another source. And this is your audio input capture. And for your device here, you want to choose the I show you audio capture device. You know, as I'm making moves on the screen, it's capturing the sounds.